So I have a problem. Ever since getting into 3D printing, I have filament everywhere. I have it on my workbench, under my workbench, on a bookshelf over there, behind me where it actually should go as well, but that's a terrible solution. So in this video, I'm going to solve my filament organization problem. So my mission for this video is to create a pegboard shelf that holds all my filament this way. Having it this way is terrible because I don't know what's behind it. I want to be able to see the colors, grab them off the shelf, put them back when I'm done, and I want it to go right up here on the pegboard so it's going to attach to my pegboard. So let's get into this build. So the first thing I did was to go to all the 3D printing file sites like Printables, Maker World, Cults 3D, and Thingiverse and look for something that was already made because I didn't want to spend time making something uh, if there's a solution already out there. And I found this great bracket on Printables that attaches to a pegboard and it has a holder for a three quarter inch PVC pipe and I printed it out. The print came out great and I learned from this to use tree supports instead of regular supports because it's way easier to get them out of the nooks and crannies of a print like this. I tested the three quarter inch PVC pipe in it and it fit pretty good. It was a little loose, wasn't a perfectly snug fit, but acceptable. Then I needed to see if it actually fit on my pegboard, so I put it in the pegboard and tested it out and it was really snug. I liked the fit, it was uh, seemed very secure. I also needed to test how secure the spools would be on the shelf and it was pretty good. It wasn't quite exactly what I wanted. I didn't feel 100% comfortable because the pipe was a little too close to the center of the spool, so it didn't nest securely between the pegboard and the pipe. So I redid the design. I rebuilt the entire design in Fusion 360 from scratch and I extended the bracket 15 millimeters in length and also created a little snugger of a fit around the three quarter inch PVC pipe and there's kind of a little bit of a lip too on the end of it. And I used tree supports on this print and it came out great and the supports were way easier to get off. Here are the two brackets compared to each other. The newer one is the longer one. You can see how the new design is much better fit with the pipe than the old design was. I tested the new bracket on my pegboard and it fit really good and then tried it with a spool of filament and it felt much more secure than with the old bracket. It wasn't a perfect fit against the pegboard so I uh, took a couple measurements and went back to Fusion and made a little adjustments and came up with the final design which fit great and nice and snug against the pegboard. I needed four brackets total so I printed three more out for my shelf. I took some measurements of where I wanted my shelf to live on my pegboard which was 40 inches long so I cut my PVC pipe 40 inches with my PVC PVC cutters. I cleared out the pegboard space to make room for my new filament spool shelf. Time to put the brackets into the pegboard and see how well this shelf works. I know the PVC pipe is white, but it's not really that white and there's letters and writing on it, so I uh, put a little flat white spray paint on it to make it look sharper. I wanted to make sure the pipe stayed in place, so I made these stoppers for the end of the pipes. I just used a little hot glue on these to keep them secured in the ends of the pipe. The moment of truth, putting together the final build. It fits in great with those stoppers on the end, and it looks even better with my filament on it. After finishing my fantastic looking filament spool shelf, I was looking around my pegboard and noticed another place that could use some organizational help, my wire spool holders. Again, I didn't want to reinvent the wheel, so I went to printables and found this great modular wire spool holders for pegboards. And they were fantastic, except when I tried to put them in my pegboard, they didn't fit. The pegs were just too big for my pegboard without destroying my pegboard. So, of course, I went back to the drawing board and recreated the design from scratch. They printed great, the dowel fit perfect, and the moment of truth, they actually fit in my pegboard. Woohoo! So I printed a bunch of them out because you never know how many you'll need. I found the perfect spot on my pegboard for the spool holders and put the brackets in. I measured the distance between the two holders and I needed a half inch dowel that was 10 inches long. I wanted to continue with my blue and white theme so I hit it with some flat white spray paint. 
It came out great and fits beautifully. It holds all my wire spools very nicely. Now they are all super easy to get to and put back when I need them. You could also thread the dowel through the centers of the spools if you want to use it that way, but I like it like this. And that's the build, just a couple shelves to make your life easier, to make my life easier at least. Uh, I am loving this filament spool holder. I can see the color I need, grab it, put it back easy. Uh, no more fishing around, it's all in one spot. Also, I wasn't even anticipating on making this wire spool holder, but I'm loving this. It's gonna be super easy to grab the wire I need uh, and my solder and put it back with ease. And it looks great. I love it. I love the blue. Uh, I think I'm going to do more of that on the pegboard and do a white and blue theme there. So uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next build.